Good morning, folks. The USDA declared the current drought effect on corn as a major disaster. And while the United States keeps sizzling, Britain is set to smash some records of their own. Another animal die-off. 500 penguins have washed ashore in Brazil. I showed you this comet yesterday, told you it was set to hit the sun. I was completely wrong. She's going to swing around the sun. This is a periodic comet. We had yet another gamma burst last night. This one from Constellation Hydra. Wasn't too far away from the last one we had in the crater constellation. You might remember we took a look at Stellarium. Saw Saturn, Mars, and Arcturus creating a triangle in the evening sky. Crater was just underneath that, and if we roll back time on Stellarium, just a few hours to when the sun was still up, there's Hydra. If you spend any time on RSOE, you know quakes like to hide behind other quakes. As I zoom in here on the Kuril Islands, I cannot remember a quake swarm like this at this location. And I'm worried because of the subduction zone. This is not terribly far north of Japan, Fukushima. If she takes another shot, it's over. We had an M flare a few hours ago, but it was not a major event. All geomagnetic and ionospheric data meters are quiet at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as we await the major coronal mass ejection. We may be taking our first minor blow right now. You see the yellow and orange solar wind speed and density getting jumpy. Likely an impact from this filament eruption, which occurred just a little bit before the X flare. And of course, that's what we're waiting for any moment now. If you're watching this, chances are could be in the thick of it already, magnetic storms are likely. The space weather is happening as the moon conjoins both Jupiter and Venus in about 24 hours, just a few days before Mars and Uranus are in geocentric opposition. Earthquake watch is in effect. That's the news, folks. Be safe.